What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back in again with another video. So, we're gonna check out what made the Edge versus John Cena feud so special, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, this was around the 2005-2006 time period. This was the best feud at that time. There was no doubt about it. The whole John Cena holding the title for over a year, that was the thing that was going on, and then edge cashing in on john cena after he had a a grueling uh i want to say it was a elimination chamber match and he cashed in his money in the bank briefcase on john cena and the back and forth promos and segments they had with each other was fantastic i know a lot of people at that time were starting to get tired of john cena because he was beating everybody and someone wanted someone different and that's where edge comes into play and him changing the spinner belt to have the rated r logo on the championship i thought that was dope he edge was really on his game at that time he was definitely a main event player at that time so we're gonna check this out for nostalgia purposes man y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to this dude wrestling gifts i'm gonna uh link the original video down below and i'm actually about to subscribe to him now because the dude makes some pretty dope content put the post notifications on so y'all definitely go check out his channel and uh let's check this video out one of my personal favorite feuds of all time is none other than Edge vs John Cena. As a young Cena mark, when these two started feuding in 2006, and I swear to god, there was nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, I hit him more than Edge. Edge was all great. these years later, almost 15 years later, this feud is still a personal favorite of mine. So many matches and moments later, this feud just brings me back to a simpler time when little wrestling gifts used to sit there watching Raw every week and just wanting to break my TV every <laughs> single time I saw Edge. So let's take a quick look at what made this feud so special. This isn't anything serious, not a deep analysis, honestly just me chilling and talking about a feud from my childhood. So let's check it out. First things first, what made this feud so special? Well, Edge was a straight up piece of shit. Yeah, this he was, motherfucker was just evil. He was good. <laughs> Not the evil. <laughs> evil. <laughs> Edge was an ass, bro, but it worked. It worked. It was fantastic looking back on it. That was some of Edge's best work. And now he's doing, you would think, like, all these years later, you know, saying uh, not to discredit his ability, but you wouldn't think it is like his promo skills, his mannerisms would be even better today. And it is. It, he's really after all those years of retirement coming back, he is definitely coming to his own. And the dude is even better than what he was 10 15 years ago, in my opinion, when it comes to just his mannerisms and his his, his promo work, it's fantastic, man. But not to take anything from take anything away from Edge, he was he was on top of his game. He was one of the top heels back in the day, especially around 05, 06 time. He was one of the top heels. Who remembers Rated RKO when they were fucking destroying people and they <laughs> destroyed Ric Flair? They made you hate him. They destroyed Ric Flair, dragged him out bloodied and bruised and just destroyed him. Who remembers Rated RKO, man? That was great tag team heel tag team heels first he was cool especially on smackdown but in 2005 man he just became something else he was and no great. not just in his feud with cena no 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 this all started way before mm -hmm. okay so back in the day team extreme was our team oh yeah we can't forget the real life drama between matt and edge the real life drama of him getting with lita like that was a real thing and a wwe used that as a storyline and it made you hate edge oh my god this was so good and it made you hate lita this was so good bro everyone loved team extreme they would come out and do their crazy weird ass dances and we'd be dancing with them we loved them and then this mother edge <laughs> infiltrated Team Extreme and like a thief in the night took away Lita from Matt Hardy. 
Matt Hardy and Lita was the couple. They were supposed yeah. to live happily ever after, Facts. and we were supposed to Before see he them was succeed. Broken. And he legit went in there and just went savage mode. So he took Matt's girl, and then he used to beat his ass like every week. Yep. Every now and then, Matt would you know beat up Edge too, but it was mostly Edge doing the clapping. Mm-hmm. And then eventually they had a ladder match, and Edge beat Matt Hardy's ass and sent him away to SmackDown. So he took his girl, kicked his ass, and sent yep. him packing to a different show. So when he started feuding with Cena in 2006, he was already public enemy number one. He was already a mega heel. Because that, like I said, that was a real thing. They used a real storyline. There was some real tension there. And kudos to Matt being, you know, trying to, you know, really work through that. Because that was a real thing. And I think he actually did legitimately. I could be wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think he did get released. Matt did get released by WWE. And there was a there was a big uproar about it. And, they, uh, you know, they brought him back. But, you know, that was a real thing. They Matt. And Lita was dating, and then Edge kind of swooped in. And they were cool with each other. That's what made it worse. I'm like, Edge, you slimy piece of shit, bro. God damn. Oh, and how did the feud with Cena start? Okay, so Super Cena had just won an Elimination mm-hmm. Chamber match. There's blood everywhere. He somehow overcame the odds. Poor guy looked like he just fought in a war. And then this guy, Edge, cashes yep. in the money in the bank. The first cash-in in history. Cena's just like dead in the middle of the ring. Vince McMahon announces Edge is cashing in. He comes out with Lita and he just claps Cena and becomes a new WWE Mm -hmm. champion. Oh, and then the next day he goes on to have a live sex cell. One of the craziest, one of the craziest segments in Raw history. I, I I just want you to understand. This is, this was wrestling back then. (laughs) You can't do this now, but oh my god, he was, yo, he he was a just a mega asshole, and people loved it. Celebration in the middle of the ring on Monday Night Raw. Edge was just wilding, taking girls, taking championship belts. He yep. was just on another level. See, this feud was cool because they were polar opposites. Mm -hmm. Cena was never going to do a live sex celebration in the middle of the ring, okay? Trust me. See, Edge was the piece of shit, and Cena is the goody Mm two-shoes, the face of the company. Meanwhile, Edge is out here sticking his tongue down Lita. It just worked. Polar opposites, and they were perfect for each other. What else made this special was when you least expected it, when it was all good, and Cena was just chilling, out of nowhere, the ultimate opportunist, Edge would just come out and ruin Cena's life. Mm-hmm. So we had the cash in to start this, right? And then at one night stand in 06, Cena and RVD are having this match, and all eyes are on Cena and RVD, and who comes out of nowhere mm-hmm. and costs Cena the championship? Yep. Of course, it's it was Edge. Edge. A few weeks later, who comes and wins the title? Edge. Edge. Even three years later, it's 2009, John Cena is on a totally different show. He's in a totally different Elimination Chamber match. Edge isn't even in the match. He was in the SmackDown one and lost in five minutes. But who comes out, kills Kofi, yep. gets in the match, <laughs> and wins and yep. takes Cena's title? Of course, it's it our boy Edge. Edge. <laughs> remember when John Cena threw Edge into the Long Island Sound? Or yo, yo, remember when Edge went to John Cena's house, but John Cena wasn't there? So Edge is just messing up the house, mm-hmm. going through his wardrobe and stuff, and he eventually sees Cena's dad and just slaps him to the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> and how could you forget Edge's epic, just iconic, I hate you promo in 2009? One of my personal favorite promos mm-hmm. of all time. I hate you. Edge was just a perfect heel to rival the face of the company. And of course, they had some good matches as well. Mm-hmm. What an insane match they had in 2006, Unforgiven, the TLC match. In- that TLC match was fantastic. I think it was in Edge uh, hometown. Uh, of course, you know, he, Edge was the favorite and he was the heel. It was a great match, a fantastic match. But of course, they gave it back to Cena. They gave the belt back to Cena. But still... Fantastic match. Edge's hometown. Mm -hmm. The fans were going absolutely nuts, and they just laid it all on the line. They did. Remember Backlash 2009? They had a last man standing match. Yeah, big show. Fucking big show. 
We had a steel cage match on Raw. They even had some great multi-man matches. Mm -hmm. Backlash 07, they had a fatal four-way. Shawn Michaels versus John Cena versus Edge versus Randy Orton. And the year before at Backlash 06, they had Triple H versus Cena versus Edge. Mm -hmm. And they used to kill it every single time. No matter what the match was, no matter what the stipulation was, no matter who else was in the match, they always just had such amazing chemistry. To they were good. They were good. Even if you guys remember when Edge had came back, he was still retired. Brockett came back, you know what I'm saying? And basically, uh, it was it was kind of he was giving John Cena a pep talk. He was like, yo, bro, like ever since you lost to The Rock, you haven't been the same. Brock doesn't care about this industry. Hey, you gotta get it together or he gonna kick your ass. So it was it was they've always had that rivalry and it, it, it always made for great television. Together. If there's any feud that deserved a one-on-one -on -one WrestleMania match, it was this feud. But they just had to bring the big show in, man. Cena has said multiple times that Edge was his favorite opponent to have mm -hmm. a match with, and they just meshed so well. What I also loved about this feud was that for a lot of times, Edge got the better of Cena. Like, a lot of times. Yeah, he did. A true rarity in WWE history. He, a a fact. fun fact is, the most wins against John Cena is by Randy Orton, who has 44 wins against John Cena who's number two on the list, none other than Edge with mm -hmm. 33. But Randy Orton has had like 90 more matches with John Cena than Edge, and Edge is only 11 wins behind, so that's pretty cool. Edge made Cena seem human. Edge always figured it out. He always pulled something out. The ultimate opportunist. Super Cena wasn't Super Cena against Edge, and that's, I think, what made it work. That's what made their dynamic work. You know, they are the rivals to each other you know in this era of wrestling you have the stone colds and the rocks you have that you know rivals of each other you know i'm not comparing them to the stone cold and the rock but i'm just comparing them in rivalry rivalry i can't even say it rivalry whatever you know what i'm saying like they're, i'm just comparing them on that level and they were fantastic for each other when it comes to that out of his ass and just beat John Cena. It was just a special feud and I just loved how they both elevated each other. It was a great feud that made them both legit superstars. Yes, Cena was already main eventing and was the face of the company, but he didn't have that guy. He mm. didn't have the antithesis. He didn't have that iconic enemy. Mm -hmm. Whereas once Edge came into the picture, it was a match made in heaven. Edge cemented himself as a main event player here. His OG feud in 06 and his feud with Mick Foley made Edge. That really mm -hmm. catapulted him into superstardom. Cena himself has said this feud had everything. Girlfriends, lackeys, his dad, Edge's hometown, Cena's hometown, elimination chambers, TLC matches, briefcases, records broken, championship matches won and lost, and even a WrestleMania match. Still wish it was 1v1 though. Yeah, but yeah, facts. man. Edge versus John Cena was truly a special, special feud. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was different from definitely a special feud. Definitely, y'all go check out Wrestling Gifts. Uh, subscribe to his channel. Original video will be down below. But yeah, man, I enjoyed this video. Brought me down memory lane. Edge versus Cena will always be one of the better feuds in WWE. So comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite Edge versus Cena match. If I had to think what's my favorite match from them, I'm going to probably go that TLC match. That TLC match was so good. That promo leading up, that promo package leading up to that TLC match was fantastic. So comment down below. Let me know. I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to... 50k appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace